Kia ora and welcome to my Tuesday prose reading. Today I want to read from A Friend in Need, which is the story of Nurse Maud and her life and work. A Friend in Need was published in 1950, which was the centennial year for Canterbury. I'm reading from Chapter 5, A Small Beginning. At the time that Nurse Maud moved into the rooms in Durham Street, her friend, Sister Rose, was given charge of St Mary's Home for Girls in Shirley. There Nurse Maud went to live with her and stayed for many years. Shirley was at the extreme opposite end of the town to that in which Nurse Maud did most of her work, and the distances were then too great to permit her to do it all on foot. She did possess a set of harness but nothing to put it on, so she inserted a notice in the paper, and immediately a horse and dog cart were forthcoming. This simplified matters a great deal, and was a far less exhausting means of transport than Shank's pony. In the back of the cart she could pack all manner of bundles and packages, old clothes, pairs of boots, a small bag of coal, or anything that she might require. By taking all these things with her she saved herself many an extra journey. Shirley was almost a country district in those days, right on the fringe of the growing town, and the home was situated in acres of land, and this gave Nurse Maud a twofold opportunity. It gave her a chance to indulge in her favourite occupation, the growing of flowers, and the flowers gave her an opportunity to make some money to help on her work. Every spare moment she had she spent in her garden, and no doubt Sister Rose helped her too. Every morning, early, Nurse Maud gathered all the blooms she could, put them in the back of the cart, and sold them to the shops in town before proceeding to her rooms to commence the work for the day. She continued this way of making money for years and years, though however she found time to spend on flowers, when she was already doing enough work to keep two ordinary women fully occupied, remains a mystery. She loved her flowers, and the time spent with them must have seemed to her a relaxation, and probably took that place in her life which other people fill up with social gatherings and amusements. I hope you'll join me next week for my Tuesday reading. That's all. Bye for now.